you've worked with partners such as HCA, uh, announcing a new partnership with uh, California Blue Cross yes. to uh, speed up billing and for patients to be able to see their billing in real time. Uh, and then there was also the deal with Ascension that, that was a bit controversial. A lot of people were concerned about Google and AI in the midst of healthcare and, and privacy concerns. Is that part of the reason that you've stepped back and taken more of a consumer approach now? We're still thinking of three big buckets where we can make a difference. The first is consumer, as you say, because we have people every day coming to us to ask health information. So we want to meet them where they are, search, YouTube, maps, Fitbit as a more personalized insight. The second bucket is caregivers. So we still are working on tools like Care Studio that give information at the bedside. I mean, I'm, an, I'm a physician and what you want to do is not have all that time hunting in the electronic health record, but spend more time looking at your patient and being a human. So we have caregiver tools, including cloud tools like you mentioned with Blue Cross. And the third bucket is context, where people live, learn, work and play, these social determinants of health that really drive health almost 80%. So we're thinking consumer first, caregiver second, and the community context third. And our work then is, is working with partners to broaden the ways that we can come to the table. Mayo is a great example where we come to them, they've asked us for help with things like better diagnosis for, for cancer, for head and neck cancer and better treatment. So we can leverage AI and we can leverage cloud tools and they want to message to patients so they want to, they want to take advantage of YouTube. So when we go to partners, it ha turns out that they want all of those things and so we're leaning in in all of those three areas. You're leaning in on the private sector side now, but you were part of the director of the Office of National Coordinator for Health IT. I wonder now that you are on the private sector side, whether you have concerns about just the regulatory environment and whether that is making it harder for technology companies to really disrupt the system. You know, I, I bring to my role here at Google my experience practicing medicine, my experience in public health and service, and my experience in the regulatory environment. And I think it really helps me think about the work that we're doing. You can get excited about all the ways that tech can help uh, in, in health and healthcare. I think we also have to be respectful of people's privacy, and we want to weave that into all the work we do. We want to be respectful of the idea that digital can drive equity, and, and if we don't, if we're not intentional about it, there, it can exacerbate d disparity. So equity is a value set we have. But this notion of, of really thinking about is the regulatory environment ready for some of the innovations? And I'll tell you, I think it is. We've done a lot of deep work in this country to see that we're building a, um, a, a building an environment where consumers should have access to their health data, which we certainly believe in as a country, and it's I believe in. It's still difficult, even, oh, it is even so as the last administration really continued along the same they line did. that you had set up in the Obama administration. We did. You know, every there's been every iteration of making it easier technologically for people to access their data. It's really important for people to know that the technology enables it. And I think you see some great examples of how health systems are able to bring that together or increasingly health plans. But we have to make we have to ensure that the business sector, that the healthcare sector respects and understands that they that we should be sharing that data with consumers so they can have more control over their health. You think it's going to be easier 5 years from now? Oh, Absolutely, because in the next few years, what people should be prepared for is the rules are beginning to take effect and health plans and health systems are going to need to aggregate people's information for them. And we certainly want to be as helpful as we can in that, in that space at Google.